All right, if you uh, just watched our other video, we just ended it. We uh, just did the coaster challenge where we rode five coasters, uh, all having anniversary with the exception of Pantheon that they uh, threw on there to make it five. Uh, and uh, we had a fun time. See if we completed the challenge, those five coasters in one hour. But now we're just gonna do a bunch of eating and a little bit of riding. And something even broke on us. And we still completed it. Yeah, we got broken. We almost, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, you'll have to wait. wait. You'll just have to wait and see. So we're going to get, I think we're going to go for the 15 lanyard and just eat all day and not worry about like, oh, should we get this? Should we get that? Just keep going because by the end of the day, we're probably going to try to be like, oh man, we're like running out of, we're running, we need to get punches done. So we're going to start in Jamaica, which is where we kind of ended last year, the last time we did this three years ago. So we're going to try to be really quick with these food reviews because, you know, it's Coaster Channel, plus we're doing 15 things. So we'll be really quick and uh, probably just do a quick... Uh, one out of ten ranking yeah. and uh maybe a little one little descriptor about it but keep it pretty simple so we can flow through all this really quickly as you can see uh 15 items is 79 dollars and uh, uh that average is about 533 per item so like almost everything here would uh all the food items here would uh except for the pineapple upside down cake would uh, be worth it but we're not gonna worry about that this time we just want it out of convenience and not having to buy it a billion times all right we started in Jamaica and we got the uh, gamba fritters uh, shrimp fritters with paprika sauce and the jerk slider with uh, mango salsa cilantro lime slaw so uh, obviously slider and then the fritters over there what are you more excited for the fritters Six. five uh, the, the, the slider, jerk slider. Seven. Eight. Spicy. Eight, eight. And then the slaw. I hate slaw typically. That is like a, that's so good. It's like a, it's kind of like a little vinaigrette but sweet yeah. at the same time. The slaw itself, I'd give like a eight as well. Five Usually six. a slaw, I'd give it like a two. Good. Anything stand out? This was kind of plain. Yeah. But we did something like that at Universal at Mardi Gras. I'll link the video above, but like, I can't remember the country, but it was very curry and it, I love that they have entertainment back. Like this. This park feels normal again now. For the first time since 2019, it feels the most normal that it's been. Yeah, and outside of when I first came in, let's just say Alpine Guys was opening year. I think it's the only other time I've really come during like the normal season. We're not going to really talk about the stuff we already did in the coaster challenge, but just want to talk about this one really quickly. The ops are kind of bad. Trains are going up so slow for no good reason, it seems. And uh, But I'm really happy to see that they're continuing the paint job, and if they get done at least everything but the first drop in Liverpool, I'll be really happy. Tried to uh, go in front of the splash of Griffin and got no splash, which was kind of disappointing. And now we're at Brazil for the Trejo, the grilled beef and chimichurri sauce. Uh, looks decent. We'll see how it is. From Brazil! Yay! All right, we gotta hurry because we gotta scoot, literally. <laughs> that was so good. So this is just a nice beef. It looks really nice and tender, and uh, it's really hot. But we had to go ride along with them. We can cool down with that. There it is. Yeah, I like it, but I think give it a seven because it's very, very chewy, and I don't like that. Uh, but it's, it still tastes really good. I just don't like the chewiness. Uh, and uh, the chimichurri sauce, I don't think I've ever had a chimichurri sauce. I like it. the better. It is 96 degrees right now. Ooh, ooh. 
Sorry for interrupting the POV. Coasters take more value over log flume. Oh. Oh. Oh, sh oh god. Oh my 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 god. All right, now that I've kind of stopped nerding out so much about that amazing footage we got from the end of uh, Les Scoot, uh, we're gonna go to the French Quarters and get something we know probably is gonna be a 10 out of 10. The banana cheese, a banana foster cheesecake is so good. The rum caramel sauce, oh, amazing, right? It's like, gonna be good. It's probably gonna be better. All right, let's try this out. We know this is one of our favorite things from last year. Or last time, so we know we're gonna love this. And don't trip on. Yeah, let's see if this is here like two years from now. Oh god. <laughs> Ten. Like, cheese cake is amazing. The uh, Foster's, you know, the alcohol taste, just there and tastes so good. I wish it was like alcoholic. That would be nice. Oh my god. <laughs> the Foster's so good. You get so wasted on it if it was alcoholic. Yeah, it's it's like top ten. <laughs> All right, if all goes well, Ariel, why should you hit that notification bell immediately? Mexico? Why Mexico? Why does Mexico mean something to us? Other than getting two meals right now with one of your favorite things, the uh, horchata, moose. Oh my God, I'm excited. What, why, why should we talk about Mexico so much? We're going there? We're going to Mexico in July and Guatemala. If all things go right, still still in the planning stages, but yeah, we're gonna hit Six Flags Mexico and do that old Scorch Cop the bullet. I might kind of be known as not loving Disney. I don't hate Disney. Disney's great. But um, is this just me or is this booth look really good for like a food booth? Yeah. For uh, you know a food and wine type festival. A temporary thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know this. Is, I think this is a. This isn't temporary. I don't think. I don't know what it was here before. I know this is here, but I don't. They did. It looks awesome. Yeah. And a lot of the booths have looked pretty good compared to like Disney used to do it really well. Now it's kind of a little. Not as put much of effort. And let's be honest, I love Universal's food booths or food festivals, but their booths suck. Yeah. There's like a, like a facade. That's about it. So, I don't know what we're getting. I'm going to surprise you. We got the crispy shrimp taco, pinko de gallo, and cilantro lime slaw. I figured you liked that because of this. I got it for you, for the, the shrimp. Okay. Shrimp. And then this is all you, but I'm interested in it too. I'm the so chili, scared. chocolate, and horchata mousse. So yeah, a layering of spicy chocolate and creamy cinnamon horchata mousse. My two favorite things. Uh, it, wait, both of, okay. No, that. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think we need a reaction shot of that one. I had no idea this little area, it's like a butterfly garden and like, uh, I knew the bird thing existed, but I, didn't, I had no idea these, did you know this is even better? No idea. They're really nice and nice place to relax. Yeah, hidden gem. And a really cool view of Griffin. Uh, I haven't had the shrimp yet, so I'm not going to rate that. You gave this a eight. eight. That seems a little high. I like I like the spiciness. You hate spicy though. I don't. Okay. I don't like spicy. All right. Spicy. I'm not going to argue if you're eight. But here, here's what you've been looking forward to the most. You need to get some of that mousse. Yep. And you need to get all the way through it. Get some of the chocolate on the bottom. There you the go. Chili chocolate. I don't get any. The tacos, I'm, I think I'm gonna plus it a little bit on your seven. I'm gonna give it an eight. The, the shrimp yeah. was so good. That was probably my favorite shrimp yeah. maybe I've ever had. Oh wow. Yeah, it was really good. And then uh, the horchata mousse, what are you giving it? Seven. It's a little bit too spicy for oh, me. Oh, so we kind of agree with each other. Good. I went with a seven. I thought you were, the way you like ran yeah. away with it. I oh, you I... knew you couldn't get away with the cheesecake running away, but you're like, eh, he's probably allowed to do that. I think, um... I like the Guinness one. Well, they had more for some reason. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, do that's too. That's like a nine yeah. for me. Check that out. We did that. Two months ago. I don't know if it was on camera, but we did that back in the day too, in 2019. 
Oh my god, that interaction on the sky ride with uh, Alpi. Woo! There's a bucket. There's little buckets, and we're going in with the kids because uh, it is hot as heck. And then we're going up here to get you pictures of uh, uh, Nessie from up there. He looks so weird right now. <laughs> That, that was like the best thing we've done today. Yeah. Land of Dragons, 10 out of 10. Seriously. I never realized it's like identical to what uh, what you call it has. Except, Tampa? and except it, it, it doesn't have the slide either anymore. Yeah, but Tampa's used to be a Land of Dragons, but then they themed it to the Sesame Street. So not so much anymore. And there's a ride back here. I didn't even know there were rides back here. There's like three little kitty rides back here. Did you know that? That's so cute. And some little interactive thing where they hit the buttons, I think. That's cool. It's not too bad, but it is, I guess, wearing Dan down a little bit, right? That was so much fun. It's so relaxing. I really, I really suggest, you know, uh, to uh, do that occasionally and just relax and check out this park. If you've been here a bunch of times, I understand it's your first time you want to do nothing but coasters, but yeah. like for us, we had had a day where we just kind of just relaxed here. So, all right, we have a special treat later on. We've got reserved seatings for a Celtic fire at the tables. So, I'll probably sneak a clip or two in, but we're not supposed to film, so uh, I'll show you just a clip or two, or we'll definitely show you where we're sitting. Oh yeah. yeah. And you got that for me, thank you so much. It's $8 a, per a person. Only unfortunate thing about that Rhine River cruise is Pantan is down. So, if we didn't know that. If I had known that, we couldn't see it when we were waiting for it. If I had known it was down, I put him like, let's do this after Celtic Fire. But uh, maybe we'll just do it again. Yeah, if you're up to it and we get back down here, which is unlikely. <laughs> but I, I love this view. Oh my God. It's like one of the best views in theme parks, easily. Isn't it? Yes. Like those loops, they are just so iconic. I don't, I don't know how they could ever get rid of this. Why am I so excited right now? Because you found your favorite toy. Oh my god, they had Big Wild Wolf and Drock and Fire. Oh my god, I didn't even think about it. I saw Drock and Fire first. I'm like, oh my god, I saw Big Wolf and I, I oh my god, I, I almost. I that one, but not that one. It was so good. If it had gotten like the Bacoma vest, it would be legit. <laughs> so good. You ready for round two? Yes. All right, we're back in Ireland and we're gonna do a lot of drinking, eating, and show watching. First, Celtic Fire. Sitting in those bench seats right up front, 
Oh, it's gonna be so. Ariel, are you, are you, are you excited? We're going to Greece next. We're going to Greece next. I don't really want to go to Greece. Like of the countries I want to go to, Greece is kind of low on my. No, but they haven't really gave much of all the stick, I think. I'm talking about the real country. Yeah. So, I really want to go to England. Me too. But, but hopefully that's 24. <laughs> we're hoping. We're hoping. All right. Apparently we're supposed to go this way. All right. So. Four o'clock show. So yeah. apparently the website doesn't is an account. I don't think it accounts for like the fact that the they the the it doesn't account for yeah. It should account for how many people you like buy and then yeah. try to like figure out like oh stop like single seats like only allow the you know what I mean like yeah. there were like four seats left but yeah. those should not be bought as like a group of four. We're also very late. So, uh, but the, the, the lady there was very nice and she said that she will hold our table as long as we get there like 10 minutes early for the six o'clock show. So we're at Hawaii and we're gonna do the Hawaiian mac and cheese. Or you wanna do the spam? No. Okay, we're not doing spam. And what has to be the nicest table setting for a food festival I've ever had. Like we get the little trees, the little manicured trees and we have the Hawaiian mac and cheese. What do we got in this? I'll answer my own question. We have a uh, ham, pineapple, macadamia nut crust. So, oh my goodness. So, yeah, we thought about getting the mousse, but we already had the other mousse, and we're gonna, like, the new, we wanna go crazy on the new boost, which like Greece. So I think yeah. we're gonna get like two items from there. And then like Japan, I want to, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you wanna make sure you do them all, but you don't wanna go through it too quickly. How's that going? Ooh, look at those little pieces of ham there. Other than really hot. Okay, score in three, two, one, five. Five. Yeah, it's good. Right now, I, I, I might have tailgated a little bit in the parking lot. So right now, this is actually really good for me. It's like a good comfort food. I like the ham. I like it to like the little, little chunks of ham. Like it's not too overbearing. I like the toasted coconut. On oh, top. that is the best part. The toasted macadamia nut, it's the best part. Is that pineapple? It's so big. I don't taste oh, any pineapple. I, I don't taste good. any pineapple. No. But the macadamia nut crust was what I, now we're out of the crust now, I like barely want it. But I want more. So let's go to Greece. Like this event's really good. Like it's underrated. We just traveled from Hawaii to Greece in like five seconds. How did that happen? We must be on the fastest plane ever. Because I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce it. We're gonna get these guys. Yay. They're like basically Greek donuts. And then we're gonna get the also, that thing. So, uh, there it is. So, honey and cinnamon and a crispy feta, gouda, sharp cheddar cheese, and... Grease is baller! Is that? Because okay. dad jokes are, like, really bad. Yeah. And we're not... I'm not a dad, but I have a corgi, okay. so... Yeah, check her out on Instagram. What is, what's the Instagram name? Kelly Bean the Corgi? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so the donuts, the Greek donuts, I can't pronounce it. We said it. Well, we don't already talk about them. These are the... Honey and cinnamon. Honey and cinnamon. And this is the... Uh, we got the crispy feta, gouda, sharp cheddar, and... That sauce. sauce. Okay, cool. This one? Seven. Okay. Seven. I like them both. I, I think it's a solid seven for both of them. They're very good. Um, I would consider getting it again. Yeah. These are just different. They're, I like them. They're somewhere between like a pound cake and like an angel cake. It's a very weird texture. I, I like it. Very honey. The honey comes out so well. Sometimes it gets honey stuff. But you don't taste any of the honey. You taste the honey here. Walk on on Nessie. Yeah, my biggest tip, always wait later on. If you don't go directly to Nessie at the beginning of the day, wait later on. Like it gets a huge line at the beginning of the day. Now, what, how long did we wait? Zero minutes. Legendary 1978. Only roller coaster with interlocking loops. Are you ready to get chains? It's like a chain of loops. Yeah. Two chains. You ready for our nostalgia? There's a nano now available. You saw it? So excited about that. Oh my god, are we ready to go? What was the world's tallest drop in the world? Here we go. Oh! Oh 
Oh my god, yes, yeah, so smooth. Well, the good thing about Nessie is it doesn't do a lot of turns. And the thing about arrows is, is where arrows make turns, not so good. Kind of like PTC trains. And we'll see you in about 30 seconds. That's tough. Nostalgia is hard with this one, but like. Because Tennessee Tornado is a little bit too short. Yeah, but I gotta give it to Tennessee Tornado because the helix is a little bit dull. But like, I'd be sadder if this went, for sure. All right. Here we go. We caught. I love when you catch the train and you just wait like two minutes. Yeah. That's the best. We still have six punches left. And I think we're gonna knock out. Oh, that looks so refreshing. And the line is not that bad. Okay, next up is gonna be South Korea. And I'm amazed how well this fits in with the the Festa Italia. Like it it looks great. It really does. It's a hell no on the, the Roman Rapids, unfortunately. I'm a slaw person now apparently because like the slaw here at Williamsburg, Bush Gardens Williamsburg, is like impressive. It's not just like your basic, like really vinaigrette. Well, it's not a marathon. Coleslaw. I don't yeah. like coleslaw. Apparently, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. And everything's really reasonable price. This is one of the most expensive items, though, right? Yeah. Six seventy-five. I'm only gonna give this like a six. It's really good, but the slaw. T tell me if I'm crazy, but we do a keto um, diet. Diet, and we have um, what do you call it? Um, um, zucchini. Doesn't kind of taste like that? Reminds me of it a little bit. It's good. I like it. I don't. It's good, but I don't like it. I give it a six for everything. We don't have a drink right now, but if I did, let's just pour one out for the Zaire carpet. Like, flying carpet. Man, if they replace this with that Zaire concept that's like inverted and loops and stuff like that, that would be freaking awesome. Because I think it's like the same footprint, so they could like easily fit it in. But like, it looks it looks empty without it. They need a new ride in here. And this went back to 1982. I think that the expansion of uh, Italy was 1982, if you didn't know that. It's like, Germany didn't exist like the first two years or something like that. Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't know that. I did a lot of history recently when I was doing uh, the video uh, that we just recently were, uh, released from a few years ago. And Italy is busy. We're getting a holy cannoli and some pasta because we're on the no carb diet. So pasta sounds really good right now when we're cheating. And there it all is. So we got a holy cannoli and then uh, we got a Alfredo pasta, homemade. It looked really good too. So let's see how it is. All right, cannoli. Good, I normally don't like cannolis, but the cream inside was pretty good. 
I give it a seven. Yeah. Okay. Pasta. I don't. It's probably because I'm really missing pasta right now because you know no carb diet. Um, but I give that a nine. Eight. Uh, the pasta. Like we have fake pasta, so you know, not homemade pasta. <laughs> so frequently so when we get the real stuff that's homemade and fresh you taste the difference right away it's just so much better can i go to germany and take a picture in it where my sister's at and confuse people and be like i'm in germany too sounds like a good idea you did that already when we were in germany and we went to the rome themed hotel and they all thought it was we were in italy somehow now all right let's go and go to japan i'm jealous you've been to japan oh my god it was amazing yeah check out my video don't we gotta go to Japan in what, 2024 for before the Space Mountain closes? Yeah. All right, we're getting the Musa Gozo and the uh, matcha ice cream. I don't think I'm gonna like Japan. Japan. All right, we got the Goiza still, but change the plan. We got the bubble tea instead of the ice cream. Oh, instant reaction. You got a bubble? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's different than the American version that I've had. Can it's you taste the tapioca more. better? It's not tapioca, it's bubbles more. Oh, okay. It's, Usually it's tapioca. Yeah, it in is America. tapioca, but I think it's, it's better. Yeah. So I um, I might have blew the bubble out, and yeah, it, it got all over you. Yeah. That I was like bad. I like bubble. I like bubble. It's too fruity for me. All right, seven, seven for the bubble tea, and uh, this is gonna be bad. Four, maybe a five. Yeah. Three, I think. I like crispy, like okay. when you were talking about like something like that, like with, in that steam, shape. Yeah. yeah. I would have liked the bao buns more, but they ate the vegetarian thing, and I didn't really want that, so. I like the milk, and so the tea, or whatever. Yeah, I like everything about it. That's why I gave it a seven, so. It was okay. Uh, not, I, I feel like we had a better time last time. With the uh, sushi and the bao bun. You still have milk all over your sunglasses. <laughs> that was my fault. Okay, so we did Virginia before, and it just has a long line. We would have done it again, but, like, it has the same items, and they were good, but not good enough to do again. And, uh, yeah, it definitely has the longest line because it is, like, in the center of the park. So, uh, yeah, Ariel went on to make sure we get our reservation. I'm going to go ride the legendary Loch Ness Monster again. Uh, not going to take you on. We don't need another POV. I mean, I'm not complaining that I'm heading back to, to Nessie, but we were told the next show was at 6 for Celtic Fire where we have reserve seating and we missed the 4 o'clock one because, you know... The, two tape you know four uh tickets left but they're all solo so we would have to sit separately yeah. and unfortunately the lady was very nice but she told us the wrong time to come back and i mean pantheon and alpengeist after this because we only had when we're done we only had two hours it, it's not even about the lines it's about walking because yeah. we want to do alpengeist again right and that's so far the way to everything and transportation to and from that sucks so it's a uh, german wheat beer and it's really good uh uh, I, I don't. I remember called Weston Hall. Weston Halls. It was so good. Weston Hall. It was so good. It's so good. Nice and smooth. Nice. We're, we're, this is the stage. We're here finally. Oh. I sneaked a couple of clips because I just had to, but. I'm out of breath, and I don't know why. That was in, oh my God, the front, the front, being on those tables, yeah. that was $16, $2, $8 for the both of us. And we were sitting, we sat in row two earlier this year. Yeah. And the, the, no, the, no. I'm not sitting anywhere else. We're not sitting in unless we do the No, window. I'm okay with other places, but like, that was intense. Very loud. <laughs> yeah. I, I, my ears are ringing like we've been at a concert. very bright. Uh, yeah, I would suggest a hat because then it blocks out the peripheral kind of above you. That was intense. That was so good. Do you like that show a little bit more now? Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't need to sit again for a while. Like, we're not big show people, but like that is like, that is one of the best shows. Yeah. I, I can't think of a better show. I want to see how the scenes are. Yeah, I mean, think about like a, the Festival of Lion King. Yeah. yeah. That's my I love you love that, and that's bleh compared no, to that I for me. Oh, it was so good. Thank you so much, Ariel. You're welcome. Thank you. Love you. Yay. I, I feel like. I am exhausted. I feel like I just had a marathon. I'm not doing. And you know what it feels like? I, I generally feel like they're having fun every time. Even yeah. though they do it four times a day, it seemed like they're having fun every yeah. time. They were really good. Oh my god.
Oh, and my, the urge to just take my phone out like a billion times, I had to like really like... And not put your hands on the table? Yeah. yeah, your neck will hurt by the way. Yeah. By the end of the day. It's intense, it's loud. Oh. I'm rambling, but that was just amazing. I, I, I'm, I'm done. And we're just gonna, uh, food festival done. We're gonna get the banana Foster's cheesecake again. Yeah. Because, I mean, unfortunately, you know, we didn't get into our two o'clock show, or our four o'clock show, and then, so we're just kind of screwed up. Yeah, so we basically have two hours to do Alpengeist, Pompeii, and, Pompeii, and yeah, and, and, well, depending on what time we get to Pantheon, we might just slip in on Apollo, but, Oh. Oh. Okay, that was so good. My ears are ringing like I've been to a concert. Yeah. Concerts? Concert. One of the guys. That was one of the guys. Behind us. Yeah, okay. And he like sees people's hands. You could see sweat. Like he literally sweat on people. Like they definitely could not have done us during COVID. No. But yeah, one time I saw a little spit coming out. I'm like, oh God. Yeah. Hopefully they're vaxxed. But whatever. That's another story. Oh, yeah, that's let's not get, let's not get into that. Oh. All right. I think the only way to follow that up is with that amazing cheesecake and the best, one of the best inverted roller coasters in the freaking, freaking world. Alpen guys. And we'll take you on for that. Uh, yeah, we'll do another POV of you. And we'll do two more rides. I'll do two more rides. You'll do one. And I will get... What, what? Welcome to who the hell cares? I'd rather be here. Oh yeah, let's get a reservation. Um, do we need a boarding pass? Uh, do we have to wait? Yeah. You know, I'm in here in the food and wine right now this year, like 30 minutes for for the boost. I've been hearing that consistently, at least at least 15. We waited what was the longest wait? Like, yeah, it was like 15 minutes. Not a big deal. We gotta do that. Wait, wait do we want to do that or want to do the beignets? Oh, I think we want to do the beignets. It looked really nice. Yeah. But I feel like the honey thing was kind of similar to that. I'm gonna let you choose and no, we'll find I'm out. Let you choose. God damn it. Alrighty. We are back to the scene of the crime. Oh boy, you remember that from earlier. <laughs> yeah, we went for it again. It's just so good. So good. Not as many um, banana pieces, but it's presented a little bit nicer this time. So, yeah. I'm just gonna. Just gonna go ahead and. I think I liked it more last time, like last year. I liked it more last time actually earlier. Earlier. It's a little bit too warming for me. Okay. I'm ready to go skiing. They do things different here when they get a water shut down. This, this was a six minute wait about a second ago, and now. So, never give, no guarantee we're gonna ride, but we'll wait it out, right? We'll wait it out. We're gonna wait it out. We'll wait it out. Let's do it. Hardcore. Let's wait it out. We've been told to evacuate half of the station. It's, it's really bad. Yeah. And I feel like this Q rail that I'm leaning against is about to. Uh, yeah, I'll the way on that. 
I, let's go to pass, but too, like... We just need the red, coming. we need the red to pass, and I think we'll be fine. We that one coming up. Uh, it might miss us. As I said, I've ridden Apollo with... Yeah. I rode Apollo one time with lightning storms on every... Like, it was like literally one, all around us. Like 180, it was crazy, it was it was terrifying. I'm like, how is this open? So, there you go, remember how I was saying okay, I felt okay, like the okay. Q rail is about to fall Simon over? Says, um, yeah, I think it's about to like really fall over. Look at that. Oh, you're out. Uh, Jokes, hey, guess what? It's uh, amazing sure. how loud okay, unthemed tin station roofs are, isn't it? Yeah. That looks fun. This is like really scary. So we're, we're not riding. No. All right. So that was the video. We had a good day. Other than, like, the um, the whole thing with not being able to get in on this 2 o'clock show. And apparently if you dig into the details, it said it's not guaranteed. Basically, but, like, if you don't dig into the details, it said guaranteed. It was yeah. like... It, it, it. And that's the thing about I lo don't like about um, SeaWorld Park sometimes. They can be a little inconsistent yeah. sometimes. And, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to be out of it. No. All right, everybody say bye, Trinity, and we wish you well. Oh, God. Are you ready for a face reveal? Here you go. Face reveal. Gotcha. We, we, yeah, there you go. Yep, trash bag on my, my stuff. What do you know what mine looks like? Oh, God. Well done.